Welcome back to Thy and I Plays Stardew Valley Expanded. We are here on Ginger Island and it is a wonderful rainy day. And we are going to take care of all of the stuff that we need to take care of on this day. We have stuff to do and we need these prismatic shards. Where are they? And our cinder shards. We're going to enchant the fishing rod. Because it's raining, we have stuff to do. We have a lot of stuff to do. I'll take these stones back as well because we might need those. And I'll also take a warp totem because I am proactive. What else do we have? Do we have anything else? Do we need to do anything else? I might take the quality bobber. Do I want to take the quality bobber? I'll take the quality bobber. Just in case. Just in case indeed. Alright. Um. Right. We need to go to the top of the mountain because today I have several plans. Whether or not they work out in the way I hope or expect, that's a different question. How much time do we have left? Uh, three days on the fertilizer. We should definitely be able to do that. And then the mm, the potatoes. Oh, the potatoes. We'll worry about that eventually. Mail time. Dear Din, tomorrow we're holding the egg festival. The egg festival? Oh, man, the egg festival. All right, it's going to be a three-day episode today then. Which is ultimately fine. We're not going to worry about that. It was probably going to be a three-day episode regardless of anything else because of the plans. Once we enchant our fishing rod, we need to go to the highlands because it's raining. And that's important. We will see the reason why it's important once we get to the highlands, hopefully. I have a list. One of the things I did between episodes is compile a list of all of these... all of these things. Everything that's grayed out, I have the name of on a list. There are quite a lot. I will, uh, here, here is the list, now that I'm thinking of it, I can put that up on screen. This is the list. It is uh, every grayed out item for our, all of it. We have a lot to do. We will get them all. At some point, probably between some random cuts, when I have a minute, I am going to absolutely get my hands on all of them. And then sell them, because that's what we need to do. Wow, preserving. I am two cinder shards short. Um, let me go get two cinder shards really quick, and hopefully I can get the master enchantment. I have returned with two more shards. Uh, where's my fishing rod? Fishing rod, please, master. I need a master fishing rod. The fishing sh rod of the master of all time and space. What is it going to be? Where is it? Master, oh my god, that's that's incredibly powerful. I appreciate that. That is good. I need that level, or well, not that level. I need that enchantment because what the master enchantment on a fishing rod does is it essentially pushes you to level 11 fishing. It gives you an extra fishing level, which may not seem like a lot, but it's important for what we're going to be doing because every little bit will help. Where is right? Our totem. Be gone, totem. We will put that to use because we need to get over to the highlands. We need to check up everything on the farm because there are things to do. Luckily for us, it's raining on Ginger Island as well as the normal place. And then everything over here is still not ready, which is good because I don't have the time to deal with it. Nothing in here is ready. Oh, the fruits and the berries. Uh, I'm not wasting time. We have to go. There's stuff to do. And very little time to do it. Why is there a random chair? Sophia, what? Why, why random chairs? It's raining. On days like this, I just want to cover myself with blankets and watch anime. Oh my god, there's a reason why I love you so much. There's a reason why I married you. You're an incredible person. Oh, and eat snacks. Oh my god, I love snacks. Oh my gosh. A woman after my own heart. Let's put all this nonsense away. And I mean, if Sophia wants to decorate the house, I don't have any reason to go against it. I'll just put all of this nonsense away for later. Yeah, I can I can deal with the random chairs. If you wanna if you wanna decorate, it's better than what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. Do I want the quality bobber? Yeah, I think I do. All right, we need to go to the Highlands. Stop stop putzing around. There's stuff to do. We can worry about getting uh, getting all of the items for that list at some arbitrary point in the future. Oh, wait, there's also something else. Oh, uh, we could do that later. I'm not... We can worry about that later. We need to go to the highlands because this probably won't take too long. I just want to do a tiny bit of fishing while we're over there while we're looking incidentally for something else. 
wow, it's foggy over here. Because one of the items, one of the items that I was looking through as I was making that list, consolidating all of the stuff that we have, or, well, don't have, well, what we have and what we don't have, there are several items that I didn't know existed and was kind of shocked by. So I did a little research. Right, this is the, my brain temporarily exploded for a second. But there were a lot of items that I was like, what are you? How do I get you? And where can I find you? And one of those items can be found only in the highlands on rainy days in the ruins, which is where all of those dust sprites are that have the monster mushroom seeds. So if we get lucky, if we get lucky, hopefully we can find those items relatively quickly, which I don't expect because apparently it's a rather rare thing to find. Oh, wait, there's there are some over there, those green things. Green mushrooms. Wow, that took literally no time at all. Those were the exact items that I needed. I needed those green mushrooms. That was one of the items I needed. That is a lot of energy and health. 1,200 energy. 562 health. 200 plus maximum energy. That is that is crazy. Is there another? There's another one over there. That's That's stupid crazy. Wow, the wiki sounded like it, it was going to be a way harder thing to find. I, we got another one. And then more ornate chests, which I still don't know exactly how to get my hands on. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. I do also have to be aware of the monsters. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. Because while we're over here and while it's raining... Well, not necessarily while it's raining. That's not the super important thing. Why are you guys dropping so many s mushrooms? Purple mushrooms, red mushrooms, chanterelles, morals. Oh, there's another there's another green mushroom dude over there. Can I have another green mushroom dude? I should come over here every time it's raining because those things are crazy. Well, anyway, I needed to sell one. How, how much do they cost? They're not that expensive. Oh, we need to get rid of all of these creatures so I can do some fishing. One of the uh, fish that we need for Stardew Valley Expanded is in this pond, so I would like, I would like to try and find one. It's called the Dagger Fish, and incidentally, uh, a, a double purpose about this, uh, which would be really good to get our hands on, is that it is a loved gift for lands. So I don't need to worry about the Void Eggs giving him the Void Eggs as like liked gifts. I can give him Dagger Fish if I can just come and catch them. And they're not... Yeah, there's one right there. And it's an iridium-quality daggerfish. Very nice. If I can just come up here every so often and just replenish my stock of daggerfish... Because, like, with the Master Enchantment, as well as, like, the quality bobbers... I can get iridium-quality daggerfish. Really nice and simple for lands. Mmm. That might be... That might be a thought. But now that we have that... That... This little excursion took significantly less time than I was expecting... I was not expecting to find those green mushrooms as quickly as I did. Which means, what else can we do? Oh, we need to go to the desert for something else. I would very much like to go to the desert. Stock seeds. Oh, right, those are a different thing. Actually, actually, while we're here, let's save a trip. Let's save a trip. I would also like to, right now, go back into the caves. Because if we're going to be doing a little bit of a fishing extravaganza. It's not an extravaganza. Wait, it's not over here. If we're doing a little mini fishing episode, I would like to get the last unique fish from Stardew Valley Expanded that can be found in the highlands. There's one more fish that we can get inside the caves, and that is very beneficial to us because it's a special one, and we might even get another bit of ore from this. Which is not super important in and of itself, because we can always get more and more and more. But, I think we need to go over in this direction. A few bits of stones won't be remiss. I'll definitely take those. Let me get over, and now that we have this incredibly powerful sword, everything is just being torn apart so easily and quickly. Although I do have to be aware of the fact that, I mean, I could eat one of those mushrooms. I could. Not sure I'm going to, though. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure the area for fishing is up at the north, the north side over here. If I remember, ow, ow, ow. I 
I need to be careful. If I'm not careful. Oh, wow. Oh, go. Go out. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he says, dying instantly. Open your eyes. Lands. Oh, man. I can't believe I found you. I sensed you were in grave danger. Thankfully, I arrived just in time. What did I lose? Stay vigilant and don't overextend yourself. What did I lose? I didn't care about the money and didn't ask for anything in return. It also appears I've lost 13 items. Oh, God. Oh, we lost my dinosaur hat and my dagger fish and my infinity blade. The infinity blade? The infinity blade? Well, um... Uh, Mm. Uh, <laughs> we are going to uh, manipulate the timelines to fix this. Dear Din, we are going to reset the day. The day is going to be reset and we're going to hopefully have some good luck. Rod restored. Wife hugged. Mushroom obtained. Fish very closely obtained. That dust sprite got it into its head to attack me while I was fishing. How unbelievably rude. But we have our dagger fish. We have more mushrooms than we started with. The, the fish is still of the iridium quality, so that's good for us. Man, it really is a bad luck day today. We are having very bad luck, but that's fine. Now let's get back to that cave and try our hands once again at very dangerous fishing. What is this? A secret area that I didn't find in the first go around? That's honestly not shocking at all. Mystic nodes. Wow, a prismatic shard. Wow, another prismatic shard. That is honestly pretty incredible. Oh, that is nice. I think by the grace of the random prismatic shards, we have to do our fishing at this little pond. Oh, this is probably going to be exactly what we need for this. Oh, that is a crazy fish. Oh, there's, how are we going to catch this fish? That is, that's crazy. Come on, come on, come on. You know you, you know you want this fish. You know you want this. You know you want to be a part of my collection. You know you want to be a part of this. You know you want to be, this dude is a insane. He is on all kinds of drugs. Come on, you know you want to stay. You know you want to, you know you, okay. That's, that's the fish that we need. Well, that's the fish that I have to catch if I want perfection, so... Oh, let's hope for the best that we can find that, get it, into our pockets, eventually. A stonefish? Uh, we needed that for the collection, but it's not the exact fish that I was expecting. That's not the fish that we're after, but it is a nice addition to our collection. Aside from the, the ghost fish, that is. Stonefish, interesting. It's the brick-shaped fish. I'm sure that'll come in handy for someone or something. Some purpose, eventually. Oh, another chance. Come on, you know you want this. You know you want this. I should have come prepared with an actual lure because I forgot. Oh, that is going to be such a pain to get. Come on, come on, you know you want this. You know you want this, random fish. Don't start bouncing around. The second you start bouncing around, everything goes insane. Stop bouncing, stop bouncing. Stay in my pockets, stay in my pockets. Stop bouncing and stay in my pockets. And we're gonna lose this one almost certainly because he doesn't want to stay still for even six seconds. Oh, and that's that. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There, stay, 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 stay still. Six seconds, that's all I need. I don't need a lot, I don't need a lot. Just stay still, stay still, stay still. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Stop, 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 stop. Just stay at the bottom, stay in the middle, just stay, stop. Oh, come on, please, my heart is pounding. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please, 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 stop. Stop bouncing, stop bouncing, stop bouncing, please, oh my god. Please, fish, random fish, please. My fingers, 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, stop, this is a fight. Please stop. Please, 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 please stop doing this. You're just playing, you're toying with me. Stay, 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 stop, stop. Stop, please, please. Oh my god, no. No. That was uh, the closest one yet. It may be 1.40 in the morning, but I am not leaving until I get this fish. Marlin, or Lands, Gill, the dinosaurs themselves are going to have to drag my corpse out of this cave no matter what the cost is. No matter what the cost, I am not... Oh, I'm passing out. Uh, well, I hope Lands is... The game is not exploding. Um, 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 Stardew, it's, it's, it's 2 a.m. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not passing out. Listen to my buttons. My buttons are not accomplishing anything. Have I, have I soft locked the game? Oh God, don't tell me I have to redo this. <laughs> don't tell me I have to redo this day again. Oh, do I have to? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Round three, I guess. Round three, I guess. Go for it. Game, Stardew. Man, you're a gem, Stardew. You are a gem. Well, it's a good thing that we have to redo this because I can better prepare. I can better prepare for my battle against this wretched fish. Fishing rod. Wife. Fish food. Green mushroom. Dagger fish. No prismatic shard. One prismatic shard. One less prismatic shard. Well, that's fine. I had to eat one of the mushrooms as well, or else I was going to die. And if I died, I would cry. Now, I can eat this fish of the sea, dish of the she, because we need to get the fish, the big fish, because I have, I have a trap bobber, and I have the fish of the sea. So let's not waste our fishing buff and catch this fish starting at 3.30, which is a fine amount of time. Having that trap bobber and the dish of the she makes this such a stark difference. Oh, we might be able to get this one. We might be able to get it. We might be able to. Oh, we got it. This is the much awaited gem fish. And we actually managed to get a treasure chest with that. Oh, I'm going to take this wonderful, stupid, dangerous fish all the way to the bank. I am getting out of here and I don't care for any of that nonsense. We're leaving. Bye bye I'm taking my gem fish, and I am leaving. Oh my god, that was a pain in the rear end to get. Oh, but man, do I want to keep doing this? No, I don't. I'm not wasting the rest of my day. I'm going home. I am going home. We made much better time on part three, rendition the third. The third refrain of this episode. We have finally done this. We got one less prismatic shard and two less mushrooms, ultimately speaking. But that is something I am willing to deal with, I am willing to put up with, and I don't care one way or another. Because we got our dagger fish, we got our gem fish, we got a prismatic shard. And man, we got our mushrooms. It feels like it's the end of the episode, but it's not. We're not even technically done the first day, because you've seen this day three separate times. One to my own stupidity, the other to the game's stupidity. And now we have, like, several extra hours for the first day of this episode. Which is, you know, fantastic and fine by me. I'm gonna put all of this stuff, uh, them goes in there, them goes in there, the gem fish, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. But we're gonna do something, we're gonna do something with them. What do we wanna do? Maybe, you know what, you know what, you know what I can do for the rest of this particular day? Because... Because we've seen this day for so much already, I am going to get as much of the stuff on that list that I can. And we do have the potatoes, which is good to know. I am going to consolidate all of the stuff that you saw earlier on that list, and I am going to probably ship it all tonight. So I'm going to spend the rest of this day just getting an absolute butt ton, a metric butt ton of materials. And then I am going to show it off once I get them. So give me a second while I consolidate everything possible. And then I'll catch up with you when I have it all. All right. I think I have gotten everything. It has taken three whole chests. I have an entire thing of random items. Chest number one. We got the leeks, an ostrich egg, some mayo, cheeses, truffles, fruits from the trees. Chest number two is all about the ores. I even have to sell the radioactive bar and ore, which is, you know, 
terrible on my soul, but it's whatever. And then, of course, we have everything in here, like all of the flowers from all of the seasons. This is not everything that we could possibly get our hands on. It's not even close to everything that we could possibly get our hands on, but it is a lot of stuff. So I'm going to take as much as I can out of all of these chests, and I will immediately start selling them. So I am going to ferry these. Oh, right, random. Oh, bits and dods. I'm just going to... Oh, right, monsters. Please go away. I'm quite literally not in the mood for this. I have to sell you, 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 you. Everything on this side. Lewis is going to have such a strenuous task coming into the farm tonight after having sold and seen nothing from me at all up until now. You know what? Just sell the rest of this stuff. I Just get rid of it all. I'm sure he'll be able to find a use for it at some point. I am going to ferry the rest of these items. Yeah, I'm just going to put all that stuff away. I'm going to ferry these items, hopefully before I pass out from exhaustion, which is probably likely. Right. Pardon the pause. I'm just seeing my brain is working on all cylinders. All right, let's, let's, let me just do this and we'll catch up whether I pass out or it's the middle of the night. Hopefully all of this goes according to plan and I don't sell anything I really accidentally want to keep. 140. I think we're totally going to pass out, but I think we also have probably just enough time if I'm quick on my buttons. No, I missed three items because I'm a terrible failure. I'm a terrible failure, but that's fine. How much money did we make from that monstrosity of a sale? $35,000, but from all of this random eclectic things... I'll take it. Will we go to the Egg Festival today? Probably not. Did I forget an event? Almost certainly. Where did we pass out? Okay, we didn't miss anything, which is good, but we have Haley's birthday tomorrow. I genuinely have no earthly idea how long this episode is going to end up being with how much stuff I have to cut out. I have no earthly idea, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter. Uh, two days for that, and two days for that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, the Junimos. Get me my stuff, random Junimos. Oh, that's fine. You know what? I'm putting my dinosaur helmet back on. I am putting my dinosaur helmet back on, and I am giving you to you. You can have the knight's helmet. The arcane hat can go in the thing. What is our mail? Dan, found your face down in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweet Marlin. Oh, Marlin, you're a gem. Conducting the field research, and I found this specimen, Demetrius. Man, Demetrius, that would have been, well, as useful as you might expect. It's really not. I still get nervous around large crowds of people. We don't have to go to the festival today if you don't want. Can we hold hands today at the festival? Gosh darn it, my wife wants to go to the festival, so I am legally obligated to go to the festival. Of course we can, Sophia. I Just because I'm having a bit of an antisocial day does not mean if you want to go out and socialize, you cannot drag me along with you. I am glad, more than willing, and happy to go to the festival today with you. If that is the plan, that's the plan. Fine. That is married life. It's, it's, it's adjusting your plans to all, all sorts of stuff. We'll put that away because we don't need any of that. And I guess let's actually take a look at this wonderful thing. Right, a lot of the stuff that we still have to do is vegetables and very specific um, animal produce from, like, ducks and sheep that we don't have yet. So don't worry, a lot of this stuff is uh, expected. I still haven't crossed a few things off of the list. It's fine. Everything over here is still good, like, stuff like the caviar is still brewing, the rabbit's foot, duck feather, duck egg, wool, a bunch of this stuff. Oh, coral. Did I miss coral? Spring onions? Sweet gem berries? I, I, it's all It's all on the list. It's all on the list. No one needs to worry about that. I'll get it eventually. I promise. Uh, let's do that. I'll sell one of the corals while we're passing through because I know I have that. Let's pick up our tools. What do we want to do for today? I genuinely have no idea. Everything in the Highlands threw me off completely. Where did I put my tools? I know I stashed them somewhere. Did I put them in one of these chests randomly? I did, that's why. Okay, well, that's this is that, and that's that. Let's actually go check in on the animals, because it's been a day, and I'm not sure if I fed them with the rain. I'm not sure if they got fed. It doesn't matter. If anyone is 
uh, concerned about the food. No one needs to be worried about the food. I feed all the animals. They have access to food. The only ones I might be worried about are the ostriches that I've accidentally trapped in the barn. Because I... Oh, boy. Are you guys good? Are you guys still alive? Yeah, they're a bit... They're a bit upset with me. You didn't miss much. It was raining all day yesterday. You can go outside and eat some fresh grass. Hopefully that fixes their appetite and their nonsensical behavior because it's fine. We're not going to worry about much. But that, that little side adventure into collecting all of the items is going to be the norm going forward because we do need to focus on the requirements for 100%. And to do that, we're going to need to do a lot of collecting of the items. So we'll probably need to go to Robin sooner rather than later to collect on the uh, coop upgrades because I need more coop upgrades for more space so I can buy some ducks. I really do need to buy a bunch of ducks. Is everything in here? Anything in here ready? Okay, so the caviar in here is ready, so that's good. I definitely want to sell some of that. And I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly certain that the item shipped is only literally for in the shipping bin because I feel, I I know I've definitely sold caviar to, P, to Pierre in the past. Egg festivals has begun. All right, so we have, this is totally going to be a three-day episode, but we're going to sell a few more things through the shipping bin just because uh right it's fine everything about this is fine we might have to go to ginger island we might wrap up the day by going to ginger island because yeah sell you uh, uh keep you a bunch of stuff doesn't matter doesn't matter we'll focus on other things later it's a saturday oh right mm. oh we have to go to the desert at some point we definitely have to go to the desert let me put the caviar into the bin so we can just get that out of the way do i have a spare do I have a spare rabbit's foot? Do I have an accidental rabbit's foot in my inventory somewhere? No, I do not, which is fine. Do I have an iridium gem berry? Do I have any sweet gem berries? No, I don't think I do. Why is this chest missing one? What did I take out? Hmm, I suppose it's not super important. But if we're doing this... We are going to really quickly before the festival begins because we want to be absolutely impeccably dressed. I'm going to take advantage of Sophia's sewing machine and take this prismatic shard and turn it into a shirt because that is what I greatly desire. Genie pants. Did I make this? I was under the impression that I would be getting a different item. All right, well, we have very shiny pants. I suppose having shiny pants is just as good as having any other type of pants. Hmm. Thought I'd be getting a shirt, in all honesty. No, give me that ring back. Oh, boy. Everything, the buttons, the buttons. Everything is going wrong. Where is that good ring? Combined ring, please. Sophia, come on. Let's walk to the festival together. I have a very technicolor pants. I'm sure that's fine. That's fine. Is everything, is everything in the greenhouse good? Some of the star fruits are ready, and I still got to get those jellies. We'll worry about other things as they come. And then, right, the Junimos are on crop duty. Wait, I have to get on crop duty myself. The strawberries in the communal plot are done, so I'll definitely pick those up at the end of the day. Egg festival. Egg festival. Oh, the egg festival. Should I buy? No, I'm going to save my money because I can, I can always get more out of the seed makers. Can I have that plush bunny? I feel like Sophia would really appreciate this the giant plush bunny. Oh, my darling wife, how are you doing today? Do you like my pants? Hey, you, want me to get want to get some food with me? Oh, God, I get to eat delicious buffets with normal people this year. Oh, my God, being able to sit with my wife at the festival. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, I already had a plate. This will be my second. Oh, oh, the food. Gus's food is just that good. I do not blame you one bit for getting second, Sophia. Hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Man, Gus, it looks delicious. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Do you have sunny side up eggs? Or poached over easy scrambled eggs? You fill your plate with ham, eggs, greens, and some rolls. You eat it in one sitting and wash it down with some orange juice. Spending the day with Sophia truly makes this a very special festival. Oh, it absolutely does. Sandy, how are you doing? The ice cold punch is tasty. Have you tried it? Oh, 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 the punch. Oh, I'll get seconds as well. I, Scarlet, oh my gosh, hi. Hey there. I can't believe you're here at the festival. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic time. I don't know if you were here the past two years, but this is, 
the town's best festival, bar none. Not really, but you know, it's fine. How's everyone else doing? Where are, oh, Maru, how are you doing, Maru? I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the real valley feel like a community, a real community. Oh, Clint, we're not gonna, we're not gonna needle Clint today. How is, how, my buddies, my buddies in combat, Marlin, Kent, how you doing? Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. You never wanna miss free food. I'm not a big fan of eggs, to tell you the truth. How dare you, you blasphemer. You blasphemer, You're terrible. Wiley, how you doing? Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Oh, I feel like when you're used to fish, the sulfurous fumes of eggs are not nearly as bad. Gunther, glad to see you're out of the, the library. How you doing? Emily, Penny, and the kids are proud of the eggs they painted. Did they paint the eggs? Oh man, they're very talented kids. How's everyone else doing? Susan, Vincent and Jazz are so excited to hunt for the eggs around town. I hope they find lots of them. Let's let's do them ourselves. Let's show them how it's really done. Louis, you backstabber. I'm not going to hold that against you today. It's a very special day. We had a great time with our wife, stuffing our face full of food and talking about the recent episode. Is Sophia hunting eggs as well? Oh god, I have to I have to pit my empathy against, you know, do I let the kids win or do I have an extremely high tense stakeful game? of hunt the eggs with my wife. Oh God, this is, oh, oh, the conundrums. My pants, my pants are truly incredible. Calm down, no kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the prize. It's a very good episode, but it's a very unlucky episode because we had a crash and a death and now I have very shiny pants. There are ups and downs aplenty. Let the egg hunt begin. I will try my best. Sophia's taking the north side, I'll take the south side. Give me an egg. If we can get, oh, another egg around the house. Can I have egg? Maru, Abigail, oh, we gotta beat out Abigail. As long as Abigail loses, I'm fine with the outcome. No one but me can win. My pants demand victory. And there will be no other outcome. There cannot be any other outcome. Oh, there's another egg behind that one. Can we get another dozen and a half eggs. Oh, by the bench, I see it. Bench, oh, Sophia's taking the southbound side. Oh, I hope I didn't miss any. I feel like if I've missed some, she'll get them because she has very keen eyes. You don't become a cosplayer. Oh, wow, I walked back to this one. Get the last egg. Sam, this one's mine. You can't have it. Oh, Sandy, oh, what did we end up with, 10 or 11? Oh, I hope we won. I got really competitive. It's what happens. What's the final score, Lewis? Look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you to pick up the litter and be the best town this side of the Gem Sea. The winner is... Ratara... Din! Oh my god, for the third year in a row, here's your prize and joy. A thousand dollars. That'll pay for the doctor's bill when I inevitably pass out hunting strawberries and gem berries. Oh, we have to go to the town now. Oh, Sophia, I hope you had a fun time, but work never stops. So let me go get the stuff really quick because we need to go get those berries. And like I said, work never, s wait. Oh, we have to go to bottom of S Skull Cavern and the fertilizer. Oh, we definitely need to take a trip to Ginger Island. Uh, I can't miss the strawberries. I genuinely can't miss the strawberries because that... I'm fairly certain it is on a pretty close timer. So let me get all of these and I'll meet you guys back up on uh, Ginger Island for hopefully fertilizers. Hopefully we have enough fertilizer. Ginger Island, the wonderful resort town of which I am the proud owner. Oh, the, oh, the things, the things. Oh, we have to get those wonderful things. Oh, is that enough? Oh, that's enough fertilizer. Oh, that's fantastic. Can we get our hands on 50 bits of fertilizer? We can take that to Susan tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we could definitely take that to, to, to Susan tomorrow. Man, <laughs> I have been recording this singular episode for like two hours, which is over double what I normally do, and I have no idea how much of it is getting cut. We'll definitely take that fertilizer to Susan. Do we have enough time? We probably have enough time to get the rest of these wonderful berries. So let me, let me get those and... Maybe we'll meet back up now on the farm in Grandpa's Shed so we can get the wine that's almost certainly done. 
all berries collected. And now that I'm thinking about things, I don't have a lot of time left in the day. So what I think I'll do, well, I need as much time as possible. Mm, I need to get the potatoes. I cannot forget the potatoes. I need to put the potatoes into those kegs for Pam. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry about the wine and the, the fruit right now. I am gonna worry about getting those potatoes because I definitely need 12 potatoes for Pam. Strong stuff, 12 potatoes. Keg and place. So we have the potatoes. I'll worry about them tomorrow. Let's go to bed right now and then deliver. Uh, right. We also need to go to Skull Cavern. So it's Haley's birthday tomorrow, so I'll remember to give Haley a coconut. How much money did we make? Oh, from other things, right, of course. The things that we needed to catch up on. The caviar, the magma caps, etc., etc. We're not going to worry about that. Um, right, okay, so what are we doing? Is it raining? Is that why it's taking so long? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, uh, thing music. Where are we doing? What are we doing? Jades. 67 jades. We have those, which is good. I need to, I need to, I'll need like two of those. One of the, I'll take, just take three of those because we're going to get down really quick. I'll take these 14 staircases. Uh, we can just... Actually, hold on. Put those in a different location. Right. We can make it down Skull Cavern relatively quickly because we have homemade fertilizer. Drop it off in Susan's chest. And then... Right. Strong stuff. We have eight days. So hopefully we'll be able to do that in time. Uh, can't forget to kiss the wife good morning. Susan. I mean, Sophia. I. It's because I'm delivering... It's because I'm delivering the fertilizer to Susan later on in the day. I did not get you too confused. She was just on my mind. Your brain... My brain. You know how my brain works, Sophia. It's, it's not a slight against you, I promise. Did you sleep okay? I think I might have passed out at, like, nearly 2 in the morning. So, I slept, and it's 6 o'clock. I got, like, 4 hours of sleep. I'm deprived. Hopefully, that'll explain the state of my adult mind thinking about maybe putting together a new cosplay soon oh if you need fresh cloth i have some quality cloth that i found in the local cave system wrapped around mummy corpses all right maybe maybe i really do need to prioritize investing in some sheep for some wool for my wife to feed her cosplay addiction i have a bunch of different priorities wait gotta actually hug the wife because that's what we do where are we going oh the junimos oh god the berries uh, let's let them work on that all day, and we can get anything else. Okay, we have to prioritize time. Where are we doing? Potatoes first. Potatoes first. All of the animals, you guys are gonna have to eat your fill normal-like, because I'm not worrying about you right now. We've gotta keg the potatoes. They'll be ready in a week, so hopefully we'll have, like, an, an extra day, a leeway. Day of leeway. So let's put, let's put all of these potatoes... Right in there. Is that all 12? That's six, that's six, that's six. All right, fantastic. And then let's put more starfruit wine. Or well, not starfruit wine. Ancient fruit jelly berry wine. The ancient wine, because that's what we're after. And then start with the gold. And then I suppose we need to process some ancient fruit jelly as well. I feel like we absolutely need to do that. So, yeah, we'll definitely, have, with all the staircases, we'll definitely have enough time to do Skull Cavern for Mr. Key. We'll also have more than enough time. We'll drop off Susan's fertilizer first. Right, okay, let's do the jellies, now that that's sorted. Uh, jelly first, Susan next. Teleport to the desert. Pick up the oak resin. Use the staircases to get to floor 100. It's a moderately decent look day. Man, those Junimos make things literally the only reason that that's, that farm work is going to get done. Let me fill these up really quick. Jars filled. All right, that's good. That's good. Uh, well, Haley's birthday. We can't forget Haley's birthday. As much... Oh, I forgot. To, yeah, I can put these elsewhere. Uh, yeah, just put those in there. We'll have more than enough stuff. We're definitely taking the bunny into Skull Cavern because it's our emotional support rabbit. Man, those Junimos. Those Junimos are literally paying in dividends. Oh, my God. They'll be... Oh, that is so... That's so nice. Mail, 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 of course. Uh, horse, get out of the way of the mail. Dear Din, you're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd send you over some animal feed. Marnie, you are a literal gem amongst human beings. Thank you so much for that. Where's the coconuts? Coconuts, 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 coconuts. Where are the coconuts? The coconuts. Okay, where is Haley? 
Uh, Sophia, it's Haley's birthday. I'm going over to her house really quick. Where is she? She's in her house. We can make a trip over there really quickly. Then we can go up north to Susan to drop off the fertilizer. Hello, Pam. Goodbye, Pam. My Technicolor pants are as flamboyant as ever. I do love those pants. As much as I wish that I had gotten the shirt, I am, I'll settle for the pants where, hello, Andy, hello, Leia, Penny, Susan, Maru, Demetrius, naming people, Haley. Oh, Haley. I have birthday coconuts. Birthday coconuts, here you go. Happy birthday. You remember my birthday, I'm impressed, thanks. How are you doing? I'm thinking about donating a bunch of clothes. I have a hundred pairs of shoes. Maybe Sophia might be able to get some. I'll buy them off of you. Give you a little extra spending money if you desire. Anyway, think about it. If you if you want to take me up on it, just go talk to go talk to Sophia. Ah, uh, Jody, please leave my horse alone. Leave my horse alone, Jody. Just because it's very dapper in his helmet, that's kind of weirdly pixelated on him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Susan's chest is up there. Then we'll have more than enough time to get down to the bottom with staircases. I quite literally do not care about using staircases. Oh, Linus. Apparently we're doing something with Linus. Good morning. Good morning, Linus. How unexpected. How are you doing, Linus? It's a pleasure to see you, Din. How's your morning? Uh, it's been a bit hectic, but it's been going honestly pretty well. Got some work done on my farm. I mean... Technically, the forest sprites that I've hired for Starfruit are the ones doing all of the work on the farm at the moment, but I it allows me to multitask rather incredibly, so technically, farm work has been done. Great to hear you're having a productive day. It has been productive at the very least. I caught some fish this morning. Dinner tonight will be delicious. Oh, fresh largemouth bass. Oh my gosh, that'll be... Oh, wish I had some fish. Sounds like you're having a good day. Do you like my pants, Linus? They are very technicolor. We've been good friends for a long time, Din. I'm happy you moved to Stardew Valley. Linus, I am so happy I moved here too, and I'm so happy that I can count you among some of my nearest and dearest friends. Your farm, along with the others here in the valley, have had a huge impact on our community. Trust me, the farm and the community has a large impact on myself as well. It reminds me of the old days when your grandpa was running Thionite Farm. I didn't know you real I didn't realize that you knew my granddad. I know so much about you, but I don't know, but you don't know much about me. I'm protective of my past, but since we're such good friends, hey, no need to share anything that you're not comfortable with. I am more than willing to uphold this particular status quo. I'm opening to telling you my story, Din. Well, I'd like to hear if you're willing. If you if you want to tell, I am all ears. Hopefully this doesn't impact my plans to go to Skull Cavern. Too much. I, I, this is more important. Far more important. I moved into the valley some 30 years ago. I left everything I owned behind to connect with nature. My family was very wealthy. I was an only child. Money was never an issue and my parents gave me everything I ever wanted. I was, in a world, word, spoiled. I would have never guessed such a thing. I mostly kept to myself. You could say I was an introvert. I didn't have anyone in my life I would consider a close friend. My parents, well, they passed away when I was in my mid-twenties. Mmm, so sorry to hear that, Linus. I inherited their estate and their money. For a while, I used that money to travel around the world. I met so many wonderful people throughout my travels. I visited almost every major city you can think of and many smaller places besides that. One of those places was Stardew Valley. There was... Uh, something magical feeling in the valley, as if it were calling to me. Of all the places I'd been, only this one felt like home. I only expected to spend a week here. Well, that week turned into months. The lush forests, the mild weather, the sights of the mountains, the abundance of wild food to forage, the beauty of the shifting seasons. I knew I wanted to stay in the valley for the rest of my life. It is a very wonderful place. I donated the rest of their inheritance to many different charities and orphanages. That's very commendable of you, Linus. Good on you. If memory serves correctly, I believe it was around 3 million G. Wow, I don't think my net worth is 3 million. <laughs> Out of all of the work I've done, that, that's a pretty sizable fortune. I thought that money would be better suited to people who needed it. The valley gives me everything I need. Money meant nothing to me. I learned how to live off the land and to appreciate everything that the natural world has to offer that sometimes we take for granted. 
I know deep down that my parents would be happy too. The money they worked so hard to earn was used to better the lives of thousands of others. And me? I've never been happier in my life. Well, that is such a good thing to hear. People are... Well, they're quick to judge what they don't understand. Almost everyone thinks I'm a homeless bum. But you didn't assume that, Din. You showed me compassion and kindness when we first met. I just treat others how I expect others to treat me, or how I wish others would treat me. I never would have guessed you came from a rich family. I, you know, like, honestly, I never would have guessed it. Shocking, but I suppose it's fitting. You never know who people truly are until you really get to know them. Ain't that the truth? So very true, Linus. Very wise words. I need to go back to my tent and get... and Get? No, we need to go disembowel this wonderful carp that we found. I'll make It'll make for a good meal tonight. Oh, you eat well, Linus. I'm happy we became such good friends over the years. Oh, God, if you say it like that, I feel really old. It's been years. It's been years, Linus. I haven't told anyone about my past before. I trust you'll keep this between us. Say no more. My lips are sealed. Take care, Din. Take care of yourself, Linus. Enjoy that fish. Offers to visit the farm is always open. My doors are always open to my wonderful friends, Linus. Always, always, always welcome. Now we need to go say hello to Susan. Where is Susan? Have we, I think we've only... Oh, guess we're doing this now. Lots of things to do with a lot of different people. <laughs> I have... I genuinely have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Din, hello. I'm refreshing my little guys with patented homemade fertilizer. Nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, they're all a part of what makes Emerald Farms produce delicious. Just add sunshine, water, and some love, and you've got yourself a really profitable season. Man, don't I know it. My produce is incredibly fresh. Emerald Farm is small in comparison to Thionite Farm. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of pride for me. It's a bit of pride to see how big the farm is. I can't imagine managing that much space. I have magical mystical forest spirits to help me with that. They do good work. Oh, they do. They earn every bit of produce that they that they get their hands on. If they want to nibble on a strawberry or two, they are literally more than welcome. How are you able to keep up with all that land? Honestly, it's because I never take breaks. I mean, technically, technically true. We are from zero to 100 from day one, but having the sprinklers to automate things also really helps. If you if you want to get into the sprinkler game, my wife, uh, Sophia, she sells uh, the Iridium sprinklers as well as the pressure nozzles. So if you, if you want to, it's a bit of an investment, I do realize, but it will drastically cut down on effort that you spend otherwise it's like it's a bit of investment in money but it's a great investment on the time returns sprinklers are the best invention for a farmer i've never i've tried crafting sprinklers but i can't just seem to get the plumbing right i also recommend getting robin to help out with that she helped me out in the beginning as well it was a bit of a difficulty to uh get my wrap my ra mind around but it worked out well I'm amazed you can craft such sophisticated devices. It's all in the technique, and it doesn't hurt to have Technicolor pants. With how many acres Thionite Farm covers, if you want to use all that space, automation's probably a must. If I tried to do it by hand, I would end up exhausting myself into the ground and into an early grave. I don't think it'd be possible for one person to maintain unless you had a few hired farmhands to help. The Junimos are definitely earning their keep, as I've said. Oh, excuse me. Most farmers near Pelican Town are small enough to be self-sufficient, but the orchards in Chestervale bring out seasonal help for the harvest. I'm pretty sure uh, that's what Scarlet does in the summer times. I think she mentioned that. It might have been something else. I need to finish fertilizing before this afternoon heat hits. Talk to you soon. Speaking of fertilizers, I have got a delivery for you, Susan. I have got quite the delivery. Susan was in a cheerful mood today. Well, that's glad. Everyone is doing real good today. Susan... Susan, where is, it's over here. Drop off all 50 fertilizers, nice. That's $4,000 for us. Now we can go and do Skull Cavern and then that's processing, right, okay. Where is the thing to the desert? Let's go to the desert. Oh wait, while we're also at the desert, we also have to do something else. Uh, one of the secret notes that we have had in our inventory for quite a while is secret note, number 18 
And secret note number 18 is in the desert, but it looks different in Stardew Valley Expanded because Expanded changes the layout of the desert. Normally, in the vanilla game, this particular clue leads you down to the south eastern corner. It's right by a bench somewhere on overlooking the cliffs. And if you dig up the X marks the spot location, you'll get an item. But in Stardew Valley Expanded, it is actually referencing this pond. And if you dig right here, right above the pond, you can get the strange doll, which, believe it or not, is the single item that we needed for the artifacts tab of the uh, uh, museum. So we now have this. We have to donate this. And then I believe we'll have all of the things donated. I'm fairly certain we've donated all of the others, but that is the last thing that I believe we need to donate. So I'm definitely going to take that to Gunther probably tomorrow. Yeah, almost certainly tomorrow. Let's get the few staircases that I can get with all of this. Jade. 81. Ooh, 81. Ooh, we're going to have to rely. Ooh, we're going to have to rely on staircases and holes a little bit. Uh, let's pick up these cactus fruits in case I need a little pick-me-up. Wait, it's hunger. Oh, it's it's Mr. Key's hungry challenge. We can't eat while we're down there. Ooh, that might be a bit challenging. Ooh, I might have... Ooh, I really hope that this goes as well as I want it to. Because otherwise, oh, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Hopefully it goes rather well. And we get a lot of uh, gifting floors. Well, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. 33 more oak resin for 33 more kegs that we're going to definitely make at some point when I just dump $250,000 into uh, wood from Robin. So let's just do this, I guess. Oh, wow, we are not. Oh, this is going, oh boy, this is going to be quite the adventure, me thinks. We are quickly approaching floor 100 because of a few lucky staircases that we spawned right on top of, as well as a handful of holes, we should have, yeah, we definitely have more than enough staircases to get us down and get warp totems to the farm. Well, that's really helpful, I suppose. We also got a lucky rabbit's foot as well as a piece of quartz. So I'm going to sell those through the shipping bin because those are two more items that we needed to sell. So that is... Very fortuitous for us. Very, very fortuitous. So do we need to do... We don't need to do anything else. That's Mr. Key's quest done. And would you look at that? I feel like the Junimos... The Junimos got everything except for these last four rows, which is really incredible. Really awesome and incredible. That saves literally so much pain and suffering. That is really good for us. Really, really, really good. Sophia, how are you doing? Oh my god, I haven't seen you all day. My tummy is speaking to me again. I have fresh food. Wait, I think I can understand. It's saying it's time for a snack. I have fresh snacks. How do you feel about crab cakes? You're sweet, thanks. Oh, we love crab cakes. We stand crab cakes in this house. We love crab cakes. So incredibly delicious. Oh, I also needed to sell those cauliflowers. Or, well, a handful of the cauliflowers. Uh, we have enough time to go to Gunther. No, he'll probably be closed. We'll take the thing to Gunther tomorrow. We're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, the bunny. Where are we going to... We can put the bunny in our room. We'll put the giant bunny at the foot of our bed. How about that? Nice. Right at the foot of our bed, we have a nice, delicious bunny. Well, not delicious. I mean, bunnies typically are delicious, but they're not in and of themselves. The, the plushies aren't... We're moving on from this because I feel like so... Well, you know, we could... We could... Oh, I, I can't... I can't talk about rabbits and... Moving on, I can't talk about how delicious rabbits are unless Sophia gives me permission. It's fine. It's fine. We have all of these uh, wonderful cauliflowers. Can I have the cauliflowers? Delicious, delectable, truly magnificent cauliflowers. And then we definitely need to sell those because I need to strike those from the list. And then all of these wonderful Salal berries. I gotta wonder. I gotta wonder how many Salal berries we got from the Junimos. Having the Junimos pick all of the crops is just so unbelievably helpful. It's it, it just, it re, it's, you have no idea how much time and heartache it saves to have them automatically pick the crops. It's so, it's so nice. We got 301 from that. Wow, that is... That is a lot of berries. That's a thousand. 
So that's like 1,100. So it's like, it's nearly like 1,500 berries. Well, counting counting the ones over here, counting the ones over here, how much? Because that's, that's like 1,500 on the other field. This has got to be like, there's got to be like 1,800 berries. And then slime berries, like my gosh. My gosh, that's crazy. That's a lot of berries. We'll definitely take one of those, and we'll definitely take uh, a slime berry to sell as well, because that also needs to be struck from the list. Cauliflowers, berries, rabbit's foot, quartz, and then the doll we can take to Gunther tomorrow. Uh, might as well pick up whatever stuff we have in here, the star fruit. Definitely want to make sure we have sooner rather than later, it's very close to sooner rather than later, we're going to have all of the star fruit that we need for... Aurora Vineyard. All 200 bits. Probably, oh, within the next few episodes, I gotta say. It's gotta be real quick. It's gotta be real soon. Let's put all of the slime berries back in there. It's gotta be real soon before we do that. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. And then, okay, we got the good ring on. Let's put all this stuff away. Uh, right, let's go, uh, let's check out the ones... Oh, did I ever plant anything? I never planted anything. Let's pick up these truffles. I never planted anything in the shed. I should definitely do that. Oh, and it rained one day, and that was a thunder and lightning storm, so I definitely need to get the one battery that we had? Not a lot of batteries. Curious. Hmm. I mean, there might be a few more hiding out behind the, the shed, but... Hmm. Let's get the rest of these truffles. I suppose I can just... Wow, that's 20 truffles. That's a lot of truffles. Let's make sure everything over here in the shed is looking good. How many how many starfords do we have? Cuz we do we do need 200. Uh yeah, that's that's like uh we're we're close. We're close. Once the next starfruit harvest, yeah, we need to plant some stuff in there. Do we have any seeds for that stuff? Right, I should definitely... I need to plant a bunch of spring crops. Although I suppose it doesn't matter. Now that I have Pierre's stock list, now that I have the stock list and can buy crops season round, it's not that big a deal if I lose out in, like, direct springtime. It just means I can't plant them outside. So we, I shouldn't have to worry about that immediately, which is fine. Uh, right, we have... There's only two of them, but that's fine. Let's get the last bit of honey... Three more batteries. We already sold those. So that's fine. Everything else is good. The Junimos are incredibly efficient. Uh, random bats, random bats. Uh, sure, just just take this. Uh, yeah, we'll put it inside. I think we can wrap up today. I feel like I don't need to do a lot more extra stuff. I feel like we're good. I feel like we're good. This, this episode has gone on an unquestionably long amount of time. For me, at the very least. I feel like I've recorded, like, three episodes, and I've, in reality, only recorded one today, which is, you know, a start. We need to do more. But I'm not going to worry about that. That's a me problem, not a you problem. And if we're going to Gunther tomorrow, if we're going to Gunther tomorrow, we're definitely bringing Gunther a dinosaur egg, because he loves dinosaur eggs. I do have a list. I now have a list of all of the best gifts for Stardew Valley Expanded people. So that is... Fantastic. We did Haley's birthday. Olivia's birthday. Here, I can prove that I have a list full. See, that's the list. And Olivia, Olivia is a fan of wine and pink and chocolate cake. So we're going to give her a birthday cake tomorrow, which is pretty fantastic. This episode was one fluff. F -f 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 -f. This is one fuster cluck of an episode, if I do say so myself. I was about to say, you know what I was about to say, but. We got the gemfish, which is incredible. We got the green mushroom, which is incredible. We did a bunch of stuff in the highlands, which is incredible. We passed out. Well, we tried to pass out, but the, the world kind of exploded, which is par for the course. And then uh, there was the egg festival. We had a wonderful egg festival with our wife. We got some really stylish Technicolor pants, which is interesting. I wanted a shirt, but you know, Technicolor pants. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, whether you watch this incredibly incoherent episode with their ups and the downs and the crashes and the resets of Stardew Valley Expanded for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode where we deliver the final artifact to Gunther. Later.